I mean, so, so far, it's recommended to test MRD outside clinical trials, but in fact, a few colleagues do. And I have to admit, I do it also sometimes in patients because, uh, because I mean, we did in the past also CT scans, which did not really have a um, consequence. But for the patients, we know that if they achieve undetectable MRD, this is um, a strong predictor for the duration of remission for patients. And therefore, I think it's a relevant information um, also with respect, for example, how frequently you would like to observe your patients after stopping the treatment, if a patient should come to your office every three months, or maybe it's only every half year, or maybe only once per year. And therefore, with respect to the prediction of the duration of the remission, MID is relevant. On the other hand, it's not relevant because we do not draw any conclusions or um, we do not change treatment if patients still have an um, MID at the end of treatment. Patients might be worried, worried by this finding. Um, therefore, I think it's most important to explain your patients that normally MID is not done in clinical routine, but this could be some hopefully beneficial additional information uh, for the patient. I hope very much, as we have seen it also at the ASH meeting, for example, as the Hovon stu study in relapse situations, that we will soon have more and more clinical trials um, which have MID rates not only as an endpoint, but also as an endpoint from which on further randomization, treatment optimization um, is being evaluated.